Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Random Frank P. And this video is just going to be a specific video on my PC gaming setup, or more like a desk tour, uh, or like a desk setup kind of video. I just did my entire room tour for 2015, my whole gaming setup, and I feel like I kind of neglected the details and specifics of my PC gaming setup, or you know, my battle station, as some people call it. So I just wanted to do a specific video on some of the stuff here, going into a little more detail for you guys. Alright, so starting off my little battle station setup, um, you know, this is on, honestly, a little clear desk, as you can see, it's, it's glass, and it was a part of a three-piece set, so the whole thing came with this piece, a corner piece, and then a whole another piece, for only $89 worth from uh, Amazon, and due to my, you know, the constraints to the size of my room, I decided that this, this little piece of desk would be, uh, just, you know, the good size for this little setup that I'm doing. I would like to extend it in the future, but uh, just for what I'm working with now, this desk will do. So it's a great little desk, I believe it's from Edison or something like that. But uh, it's a great three-piece desk for a great cheap price. And starting off with the monitors and stuff you'll see up top. I know it's kind of hard to focus because of the lighting. Uh, these are two 24-inch Asus monitors. Um, I'll put the description and the product number and all that stuff in the description below. Uh, for all the stuff so you can find you know, prices and model numbers for them. But just great gaming monitors, very low uh, millisecond response times from gray to gray. So it's not going to be a lot of lag or uh, ghosting in gaming. And as you can see holding them up, they are on a, uh, a nice two-piece monitor mount. Um, I'll try to go behind and show you guys, but the monitor mount was, I believe, only around 40 bucks, and there's a great job of supporting them. Uh, it allows for height adjustment. You can swivel these things in and out, I believe, uh, for around 60 to maybe 90 degrees, as well as the, uh, the monitor mount themselves. This rotates up and down as well, as well as, again, this way. So it's a great rotating monitor, and for the two-piece setup like I have here, it works really well. Now on top of my one monitor you see I have a little uh, webcam and this is the Logitech C615 I believe. A relatively inexpensive uh, webcam that I use for streaming on Twitch every now and then. It has a great 1080p picture, it records video and I think 720p. But for streaming it really gets the job done. And uh, it's a nice little addition, not anything too expensive. A great little webcam for the price. And right next to it, which I might get some crap for, is the Audio-Technica AT-M50X. Um, One of my, or ATH, uh, something like that. The Audio-Technica um, M50X, whatever you want to call them. But probably, for the price, one of the best sounding headphones um, that I can really reference lately. They're not open back, they're mainly used for professional monitoring headphones. Uh, so they're great for studio monitoring. But they just have a really, really great overall uh, clean sound. Very, very, just one of the best sounding headphones I've used. They're not open backs, they're not gonna have a very large sound stage. But I had a great deal on them. I usually keep them up here on the little acrylic head base because they're so nice. But um, these are what I use now for gaming. And you know, for the price that I got them at, I, I don't really regret it. They're a nice pair of headphones, they look really nice, and they, they're really comfortable on your head. And just for the sound quality, I can't go wrong. And I have them paired, as you can see on the bottom here, with the Fio E10. Uh, this is an amp and a DAC. You plug it in, and it's really, it's like, instead of upgrading your PC sound card, it just takes the, the, the audio to a whole new level. It boosts it, you can increase the bass, and it's a great little DAC for the price. Uh, I know Fio made a newer version of this, the E10K, I believe, but a really great addition if you want to increase your gaming audio or just your PC audio setup for a relatively cheap price. And staying with the audio, um, next to it you can see I have the Razer Siren, and this is Razer's newly released microphone. Um, it's great for streaming because you see in the front it has a nice OLED display, which you can see what your, you know, your your uh, your monitoring sound and your pickup pattern right next to it. And this is great for streaming because on the back it has two knobs for P, which is your pickup pattern, which is changing like you know cardioid, uh, omnidirectional, and then gain, which is your volume. On the front, you have a little mute button. So just definitely a great microphone overall for streaming that I use. 
and uh, it's gonna I think it runs around 180 but for streaming if you're big into streaming it's gonna be your best friend a great mic for that uh, but for all my voiceovers that I do on my more professional tech reviews or videos like that I use my is it? here we go the AT2020 uh, this microphone from Audio Technica a great microphone if you want to listen to some of my past reviews and stuff uh, this is the audio that I use for that not the one not the most recent uh, keyboard comparison that I've done but this is the one that I used a great great microphone for the price and while we're at it you know on my desk uh, Nexus 10 tablet I showed this stuff before in my overall gaming setup and you know I have this my iPhone 6 on this cool little spider flex grip uh, it's, a, it's a great alternative for a phone stand I actually have it over here as well uh, it's a cool little flexible like wire thing it's great for holding stuff up uh, foreshadowing's got a new camera that is the Lumix FZ1000, an amazing 4K camera that I got. So the, the channel's gonna be getting a pretty big upgrade pretty time soon. Sometime soon you'll see that coming up. And then under that is this little cool notebook that I keep all my uh, video ideas in and stuff like that. So that's the desk over here. But back to my peripherals. I don't want to keep this too long. Uh, we got the Logitech G502 Proteus Core mouse. One of my favorite gaming mice of all time. It feels really great in the hands. Uh, the mouse is my favorite, I mean the, the mouse. The, uh, the scrolling wheel is one of my favorite things because uh, you no, know, right now it's like a standard default scrolling wheel. You press in one button and it's like this endless scrolling feature. Uh, really awesome, like I said, it just feels really great in the hand for gaming. It fits me perfectly on top of, of course, a Corsair. Uh, mouse pad. And that's because I had the Vengeance M65 uh, gaming gaming mouse before. So got the stuff paired up. And I'm actually giving that away. Uh, watch my room tour for details on that. And now to the more interesting part of my gaming setup are my options uh, available for me for keyboards. Uh, in front of me, I have the Razer Black Widow Chroma Stealth Edition keyboard. Uh, so these use the orange keys instead of the clicky uh, kale green switches. And next to that, which I have in the corner right now, is the Corsair Gaming K70 RGB keyboard. I actually use this as my daily keyboard. I love its overall look, you know, the brushed aluminum and anodized metal, the nice uh, wrist rest. It's a great keyboard that I do use pretty much every day. Um, I do have this in front of me though, because this is my gaming keyboard. I use this just for gaming, and I just filmed a, uh, a little review of their new uh, software update to make it do a lot of cooler and newer effects for the lighting. So that's why I have these two here in front of me. And I also had the G502, but I'm giving that away, which is the uh, Orion Spark from Logitech. Giving that away as well. So again, check my room tour if you want to see the details on that and the gaming mouse. But like I said, these are the two keyboards that I use uh, most frequently. This one mainly just for gaming. That's what it's used for with the, you know, the macro buttons and the uh, stuff on the side with the USB headphone microphone jack. But the Corsair Gaming K70, uh, this is my daily keyboard. And what's cool about it, it's gonna be hard to see. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to see it at all. But I received this before they changed their logo to the Corsair Gaming logo. So I luckily still have the old Corsair logo on this keyboard. And then lastly, into my uh, PC itself. I built this PC with a great buddy of mine uh, a little over a year ago, pretty much last Christmas. And we've upgraded a lot along the way. Inside, I have a Gigabyte Radeon R9 290. Upgraded that recently from the 270X. And I upgraded uh, a few things as well. I got an Evo uh, H212, I believe, uh, GPU cooler, or CPU cooler, sorry. Uh, kind of hard to see. And this is an NZXT Phantom P240 case. Uh, NZXT was nice enough to send this out to me during the summer. And overall, a great gaming case. I think my only complaint about it, if I had to give a, you know, a con, would be that this panel doesn't match the glossy white to the rest of the uh, the case. But you know, very very minor, and it's overall very nice looking case. I don't really have much LED lights going on inside right now, but uh, you know, if I did, it would look really cool. And I believe I also upgraded recently, uh, right before Christmas, I got a a new solid state drive. I believe it's 250 gigs. So just minor upgrades from the past year. But overall, really cool case. I like it. And you know, you got the front panel, which is always kind of hard to press. Maybe another con about this thing. Here we go. And uh, something pointless is this not so discreet secret drawer. <laughs> Figured I'd show you that. And um, yeah, so this is what I use for gaming. Really hasn't failed me at all. Never gave me many problems. 
Uh, nothing at all that I can think of. It runs all my games very smooth, uh, ultra settings. And like I said, it's, I don't think there's any game where I've had problems running so far. So great gaming PC for the price. I'll put the specs and all of the, the product links in the description below so you can check it out. And maybe you can buy some stuff for yourself if you want to you know, upgrade your PC or just check out what I'm working with here. And just to round this thing out up top, this is just an Anchor uh, 3.0 USB hub. Uh, it uses or has four USB hubs right up top. And this is what I plug both of my um, keyboards into. So, you know, it's, it's great for just extending your, your USB slot availability. I do have two up here, and I also have, I believe, four in the back of this, but uh, it's going to be kind of hard to see the I.O. It's always kind of hard to get to, so just having an extra one is really awesome. I don't really keep uh, all four of these plugged in at all times. Uh, these two are the Corsair Gaming Keyboard and these two are the Razer Black Widow Keyboard. But I usually have just one plugged in at once. But I'm sorry if this is rushed, like I said, it's kind of late. I just wanted to give you guys a more detailed look at my overall setup for my uh, like my battle station, you know, my PC gaming setup. So just a little more detailed tour of my desk. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you want to see, uh, like I mentioned earlier, my overall room tour um, that I have with everything from my console gaming setup and all that good stuff, if you want to see my entire room tour, I will put that in the link as well, and you can probably click on one of the annotations that I'll throw in and check that out. Hope you enjoyed everybody. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions on any of my products or anything like that, how I set stuff up or where I bought some stuff, drop a question down below. Or you can hit me up on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. I do tons of uh, you know, channel updates and engaging with my fans on Twitter. So if you want, definitely hit me up on Twitter. You can follow me. If you have any questions, ask me on there as well. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I do a ton of tech videos, uh, comparisons of gaming stuff. So subscribe to my channel. That'd be cool. Alright everybody, I'm Randall Frank P. Have a good day.